Assalamualaikum alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome everyone into today's class. This class is for third secondary grade in English subject for the first semester. The lesson is Unit 3, Form, Meaning and Function from the book uh, Mega Goal 5 on pages 44 and 45. It is prepared by Abdullah Hussein and presented by me, Mazal al Harbi. So, welcome everyone. Our objectives in today's lesson is number one, to know the simple present tense and also the simple present of the verb be and the information questions and the third one is simple past of the verb be and be born and number four a simple past with regular and irregular verb so let's begin so the first tense we're going to talk about today is the simple present tense the first tense we're going to talk about today is the symbol present tense. Now have a look at this example and tell me exactly what did you notice. Uh, this is the first example is the yes or no question and we have two short answers. So the first question is do they use the internet? Do they use the internet? The answer is yes they do. Yes they do. And if you want to answer with no, it will be like this. No, they don't. No, they don't. Now let's move on to the second example. Does she have a laptop? Does she have a laptop? The answers are yes, she does. Yes, she does. And uh, with no, it will be like this. No, she does not. No, she does not. Or no, she doesn't. So what did you notice here in these questions? And uh, remember, this is the simple, the, the simple present tense, okay? And here are examples on how can we make a simple uh, question in the simple present tense. But can you tell me what exactly did you notice in these, uh, uh, in these examples? Let's see. So this is actually what difference in these uh, examples is that if we want to make a yes or no question in the present tense, in the simple present tense, we should use either do or does. Okay? We should use either do or does to talk about or to ask questions in the simple present tense. And do and the difference between do and does is that do comes with the uh, subject pronouns like they, we, I, you. Again, do comes with the pronouns like they, we, I, you. And for does, it comes with subject pronouns like she, he, it. Again, does comes with subject pronouns like she, he, and it. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, this is what do we use if you want to make yes or no question in the simple present tense, which is again to use do or does according to it depends on the subject. So now we're moving to the other part of our today's lesson, which is the simple present of the verb to be an information question. The simple present of the verb to be an information question. So let's see here. Now, how can we make a simple present uh, uh, question with the uh, or information question with verb to be? What do you mean by verb to be is actually either is, am, or are. So what do you mean by verb to be is three things. Is, am, and are. And what do you mean by information questions are those kinds of questions that started with either what, when, how, where, who, and why. Okay, so what do you mean by information questions are the kinds of questions that start with what, how, when, where, who, and why. And it also has another name which is the double H question. The double H question. Okay, so now I'm going to show you an example of how can you make a yes uh, an information question with the verb to be 
in that symbol present tense. So here we have the first example. What is your last name? What is your last name? Here is is a short for, uh, here is is a short version of is. So the question will either we say what's your last name or we can say what is your last name. Okay, so this is the first information question with using verb to be, which is here is, and in the simple present tense. What is your last name? It is Zahrani. And here we have another example, but with a, a, a different uh, information question that started with how. How is it going? How is it going? Or how it's going? So this is also another example. And here is is, which is a verb to be, in the present, uh, in the symbol present tense. How is it going? Fine, thanks. When, it, when is the festival? When is the festival? It is in February. It is in February. Where is your friend from? Where is your friend from? He is from Jeddah. He is from Jeddah. Who is that tall man? Who is that tall man? That is my uncle. That is my uncle. Why? Why is he here? Why is he here? He is here for the festival. He is here for the festival. Okay, so now I just read an examples of information questions with verb to be in the present or in the symbol present tense. Okay, so now we have an activity. We're going to make a statement, a yes or no questions, and we'll also give a short answer. So we have statements, okay, sentences, regular sentences. What we need to do is to make a question and to answer it as well, okay? So here it says, my parents both speak English. My parents both speak English. And we said that if you want to make a yes or no question in the simple present tense, you have to start with either do or does. But how can I decide whether to use do or does? It depends actually on the subject pronoun that you're going to use. So here, since we're talking about my parents, my parents, what do you think the appropriate tool to begin with? Is it do or does? Let's see. It is does. It is do. Because parents are plural, and with plural, we use do. Do your parents speak English? Do your, your parents speak English? Yes, they do. Let's go for the next one. The hotel does not have its own website. The hotel does not have its own website. And here, um, since we have already done, so it's obviously what we're going to start with. And also because the hotel refers to the subject pronoun it. So the question will be, does the hotel have its own website? Does the hotel have it's our website. And since this is a negative statement, we're going to answer it with no. And the answer will be no, it does not. No, it does not. Now, the third statement we have here is my brother and I don't go to the same school. My brother and I don't go to the same school. Now, again, what should we use? Is it do or does? Actually, here we should use do because we're talking about plural. My brother and I, two people, okay? And since it's a negative statement, the answer must be no. So it will be like this. Do you and your brother go to the same school? Do you and your brother go to the same school? The answer will be no, we do not. No, we do not. Okay? So these are uh, an example of how can you make a yes or no questions from a statement. 
And we said that to make yes or no questions with the simple present tense, you have to use either do or does, and it depends on the subject you have. Now, what we need to do in the second activity to match the questions and answers. So the first one, the first question here, uh, I'm going to read the questions and then I'm going to read the answers and we'll try to match them. The questions are, how is it going? When is your graduation? What is your last name? Why is Mr. Jones here? Where is your family from? And who is that woman over there? The answers are, it is Abu. He is here for the online conference. We are from Dubai. Fine, thanks. That's my aunt. It is in June. So let's begin with the first one. How is it going? How is it going? Okay, so this is a question to ask about uh, how it's people. Okay, and to tell them that you are okay, we use fine, thanks. We use fine, thanks. The second question, when, when here is a, a question, or a, we use the word when if you want to ask about time, if you want to ask about time. So when is your graduation? The only answer here that uh, uh, indicates time, it is, it is in June. The number is, it is in June. Very well. So what is your last name? What is your last name? Now. What is your last name? Here is a question, and the answer must be a name. The answer must be a name, and this the first answer here is a name, so the answer will be, it is a good. Now, why is Mr. Jones here? Why is Mr. Jones here? And we use why if you want to ask about reason. And the reason is that he is here for the online conference. So number four will go for B. And number five, where is your family from? Where is your family from? And where here we use it to ask about place. And this is this answer number C is about place. We are from Dubai. And the last one. Who is that woman over there? Who is that woman over there? Who is to ask about the person? And the answer will be E. That is my aunt. That's my aunt. Very well. Now we're going to talk about another tense, which is the simple death of the verb to be and also be born. We're going to talk about the simple death of the verb to be and also be both. So let's see. Here we have example of how to make a question, an information question with the symbol that verb to be. For example, where were you born? Where were you born? Okay. Here is the verb to be, which is uh, 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 always if you want to ask about when people are born, it must be in the past. Okay. So the, if you want to ask about the person when he's born, uh, or when he's uh, 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 in what place was he born, so you must ask it in the back. The question will be like this. Where were you born? Uh, and the answer will be like this. I was born in Oman. I was born in Oman. Okay? And the second question is information question with uh, uh, the past symbol or the, past, the symbol that form of the verb to be. Okay, so it will be like this: Where was he born? Where was he born? So uh, if you notice, where is actually the past of all, and was is actually the past of n. Okay, so the question again will be: Where was he or she born? The answer will be, he or she was born in Kuwait. He or she was born in Kuwait. So those are examples on how can you ask about when people born in the simple past. 
Now we're going to move to the second section, which is about simple past with the regular and irregular verb. We're going to ask about the simple past in the, with the regular and irregular verb. So what we mean by regular and irregular verbs is that regular has certain pattern if you want to change it in the past, like adding ED, for example. And what do you mean by irregular verbs? That verbs that do not follow certain pattern or certain system for a change it into the past. So each verb will have its own pattern or its own form. Okay. So here we have uh, how, uh, examples of how can we make the yes or no question in that simple past. Okay. And also the answer. We said, if you remember, in the present, simple present, we use. If you want to make yes or no question, we use either do or does. But in the simple bad, we only, we only use did. In the simple bad, we only use did. And the verb that comes after did must be in the present tense. So here you have it. Did you, or did he, or did she, or did they, here if you can notice that we can use any subject for now with the word did. Unlike, of course, doing that. So, did you live in Riyadh? Did you live in Riyadh? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Or, in negative, we said, no, I did not. No, I did not. Okay? So, again, if we want to make it a, a question, a yes or no question in the simple past present, we say either did, we start with did, okay, and the verb that follows it must be in the simple present tense. So what about information question? How can we use information question if we want to ask by in the, in the symbol that? So here you have an example, okay. Where, okay, we use the information question, nothing will, will change about this, okay. So we use where plus did and then the verb. So the question will be like this. Where did you live? Where did you live? Okay. And the answer, we change the verb that we use in the past. If we want to answer an information question in the past, we change the verb into the past. And it will be like this. I lived in Riyadh. I lived in Riyadh. Okay. Again, we use this with the information question after the information question and then the verb we use it in the simple present tense. So the question will be, where did you live? We change the verb into the past, and the answer will be, I lived in the yard. The same goes for the second one. What did you wear? What did you wear? Okay. Or what did he wear? What did he wear? The answer will be, he wore formal clothing. He wore formal clothing. Okay. And here, actually, live is an example of a regular verb because we only added D to change it into, into the past. And where is an example of a regular verb that we change the whole form to uh, uh, use it in the simple past? So this is the difference between regular verb and the irregular verb. So we also have another activity here. We do have a couple of questions that we're going to answer them in order to know how can we answer in the past. Okay? So the first question we have here, where were you born? Where were you born? And if you remember, we said that if you want to, to answer such question, we start with, I was born in Mecca or any other place. I was born. And the second question, where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? And here, grow is a, uh, is a, a base form or the present form. So we have in the answer, we have to change it in the past. We have to change it in the past. And it will be like this. The best form of the verb, grow is grew. Okay. The best form of the word grow is grew. So the answer will be like this one. I grew up in uh, uh, my hometown. I grew up in my hometown. So 
this is a, a, an example also of an irregular verb. The third question is, why did you take the decision to study English? Why did you take the decision to study English? And we said why is uh, uh, a question that we use it if you want or if you are looking for a reason. And there are uh, the answers, of course, will vary. We can say uh, I learned or I decided to study English because it's a, a worldwide language. Everybody talks English and like that. The fourth question is, when did you meet your best friend? When did you meet your best friend? And here we said, uh, when is uh, a question uh, to ask about uh, a time, to ask about time. And here meet actually is uh, an irregular verb. And if we want to uh, answer in the past, we will say, I, I met my friend. I met uh, my friend uh, at school. I met my friend at school. I met my friend at school. Okay, so here is the answer. Meet actually, or sorry, met is an ex this is the best form of the verb meet. So it is, of course, as you guess, it is a regular verb. Now the fifth one, did you spend time on the internet yesterday? Did you spend time on the internet yesterday? And as we discussed that uh, the question that started with either do, does, or did are a yes or no question. So here the answer must be either yes, I did, or no, I did not. Okay? The last uh, question we have, uh, number six, is what did you eat for breakfast uh, this morning? What did you eat for breakfast this morning? And what here is uh, a question that if you want to ask about certain things, okay? And here eat is actually not regular but an irregular verb. And the answer will be like this, I ate. I ate an uh, 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 let's say egg. Okay, I ate eggs for breakfast. And here, as you notice, eight is the best form of eat, so it is uh, on irregular verb. Okay, so here is the summary for our lesson today. We did talk about the simple best with regular and irregular verbs, and we also talked about the simple best of the verb and be for and also we talk about the simple presence of the verb to be and information questions and uh, also we talk about simple present uh, we talk about the simple present tense.